What is going on guys, it's CG here and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. So guys, I was browsing the Steam Workshop and I found this mod. It was actually developed by Drake, one of the main developers of Ark Survival Evolved itself. And I just really got to show it to you. It is the Pandora Isles mod, or Islands mod. You spell Isles, so I'm assuming it just goes by Isles. But this mod is so, so cool. I'm really pleased to see that the ARC devs or just ARC community in general are creating things like this. This is going to allow you to expand your map in the future and I hope though throughout the whole of 2016 I see a lot more of this stuff. The only downsides to this mod um, is that you can't actually build on top of here. Like you can build but it's a shame that there's no flat land. There's like certain parts that are flat enough to build something small. But if you're going to build like a, a really big base on here, you're going to have to use a lot of bit, uh, pillars and stuff like that. Because it's so rigid and chiseled, the landscape, that it doesn't really give you much option to build a decent, nice house. It would have to be very strangely and awkwardly built upon pillars. And, well, that's not really how I roll. I don't mind doing it too much, building on pillars. But I prefer flat land. It makes things a lot easier, especially if you're someone who builds those massive bases with the gates all around the outside. Another downside to this is the fact that there's no resources on here. I would like to have seen some crystals and some metal on here or maybe when the winter wonderland update is removed um, some grass and trees on here and if any of you seen the avatar films or film there's only one of them um, this does remind me a lot of the film as if you've seen it you will know that there's floating islands in it and I'd love to see some vines like falling off here and maybe some water trickling down from a stream or a pond up there because that would add it make it look a lot more majestic and magical and it would really bring a better feel to the game. Now that they've built this mod that allows you to expand the map it really does get me questioning uh, what more you can do to the game. I'm hoping that throughout the whole of 2016 in the workshop we're going to see a lot more map extensions. The good thing about the map extensions is that they don't remove already existing structures or dinos. Um, that was my main concern when loading up this mod. I thought I was going to lose my whole recording setup I got over there. But no it didn't. So well to be fair this is in the sky and there's not really anything it can remove. It's just I've been placed there. So it's not too much of a problem. One thing that would annoy me about this mod is the fact that it leaves this massive shadow on the ground. And it just makes it all dark and dull. No matter what time of day. So if I change it to like 12 in the afternoon, it's still really dark down here. And it's going to be like that throughout the whole game as long as that island's there. It does look like a massive like asteroid. It's just about to hit you in the face from this angle. It's quite good. I like the texturing on the bottom as well. Although it's a little low res, but it's not too bad. Like, I can imagine in the future of Ark, once they start developing more expansion mods like this, we'll be able to see, like, maybe even the map doubled in size, or tripled, or even quadrupled. Just a massive map, as you can... Let's say, for example, somebody created a mod where you could just build this island that we're on now differently but again in the same map and just make the map absolutely huge. That is something I'm really looking forward to and being able to see in the game. After you've explored the whole island and you've got used to the surroundings and all the places you know where everything is, you start to realise how small it actually is. Like first off playing the game when I first started I thought the game was like the map was absolutely huge. But now that I've explored everywhere I know exactly where everything is. I know everywhere in the game. The map is actually quite small and it would be good to see it expanded a lot more. You know, my only concern on expanding maps to uh, massive scales is that it's going to have a lot of downsides on people with lower end computers or it's just going to slow down your computer in general. Like my computer's decent, it's not the best thing in the world. Well, it's up there, it's top of the range but it's not exactly a super computer. I can run the game fairly well on the highest settings. But to add this island over and over and over again in size, it's going to put a lot more stress on your computer's hardware and eventually slow down the game and render it unplayable. 
However, this mod is a very unique and cool way of showing Ark's abilities and opportunities for towards the future. This is really cool and I'd love to see a lot more of this stuff. Credit out to Drake who developed this. He is one of the developers of Ark itself. He made this awesome mod and it is absolutely brilliant. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing more type of this stuff in the future. Anyway guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to quickly show off this mod to you. I was casually just browsing the workshop, saw this, it really caught my eye. Got my attention a lot and I I just think it's so amazing and deserves sharing with you guys. I know a few of you, or a lot of you ARC fans have already seen this on the workshop. You may not have played it yourself or seen a showcase of it. So that's what I've done for you today guys. I just want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and it helped you in any way, shape or form, feel free to leave a like. It really does show your support and I really do appreciate it. Anyway guys, if you're new to the channel and you wish to see more ARC content like this or just ARC content in general, feel free to subscribe as it costs nothing. You'll get notified every time I do a video and you'll be able to see more of this cool stuff. Anyway, I'm just going to thank you all again for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.